guys, welcome back to Story, and today I'll be teaching you guys how to make these really cute bunny delivery um, bunnies. Sorry, this one, um, the Posca paint was kind of smeared, but it's really squishy. So we have this purple bunny, um, this blue bunny, um, and also this pink bunny. So these are all three of the bunnies. Um, comment down below which one you like more, and here are the envelopes. So we have the bunny deliveries. On the loops are really cute. Uh, comment down below which one you like more. But yeah, so I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make these, and these were inspired by Hello Origami. So yeah, I'm super excited to make these. These are so easy to make and so adorable and cute, and they are squishy. So yeah, let's go and get started. So first to start, I need to of course take these off my table. Sorry for the bad placement. Um, Whatever, but yeah. Well, I cleaned down my table, and now go ahead and start off with a colored piece of paper. I don't recommend like decorated, um, cause it's gonna be a bunny, but you could if you want to. Okay, so here's my piece of paper, and after that, go ahead and start um, by making the bunny. And just go ahead and start by folding your piece of paper in half. Like this. And ignore blank space playing in the background, but yeah. And then after that, go ahead and unfold and then go ahead and fold the middle to the line, to the crease or something. And now do it the same thing on the other side. All right, so there we go. And after that, go ahead and fold it in half like that. I'm sorry if I'm going too fast or something. And then go ahead and fold the bottom to the middle. Okay, so after that, go ahead and fold and then fold this part to this part. And there you go. So after that, you should have this. And then after you have the second fold, go ahead and turn the piece of paper around and then just fold it like this. Good job. Um, and after that, go ahead and just go ahead and then just fold this up like that. Pretty easy. And now you could take a piece of scissor, um, a scissor, and then, sorry, I can't really talk today. And then go ahead and just like snip this part but i'm just going to rip it until here so yeah so now that you have this these are going to be the ears so after you're done with that go ahead and just we're going to start with the ears so yeah after that go ahead and fold this corner um like about up to here up to this line but yeah you can fold it as big as you want so yeah so that's what i'm gonna do and now i'm done and after you have that go ahead and unfold and then go ahead and take this part and then just fold it to the other part and then fold this part down. And there we go. And then do it on the other side as well. And yeah, there we go. So after that, you have that, um, you have the ears. And now go ahead and just fold this part down. Like make a teeny tiny triangle. And 
there you go. So after that, you should be able to fold this part to here. And there we go. So after that, go ahead and just put this part inside of this part. Okay, all done. And after that, go ahead and just fold this part and make a little triangle. It really doesn't matter how big or small you make it, just like fold it. But yeah, so that's just what I'm gonna do. So there you go. And after that, go ahead and unfold all these. Make sure you fold them, make sure you like crease them good. So, because um, you wanna fold it backwards. Okay, so now after that, go ahead and just open this little pocket and then just fold the crease down. So, like this. And just do all of that. And yeah, there we go. So now that you have that part, you should have like this bunny part and now go ahead and draw the face. Okay, all done. So now that you have that, go ahead and just open this part up and then as you guys can see, there's like this opening here and we're gonna stuff it. So go ahead and get your plastic bag. Okay, so I just cut the top off of a Ziploc bag and go ahead and open it up. You can also do that and then just flip it inside out. After you do that, go ahead and just twist it and then just fold it in half. And now go ahead and open up your the part of the bunny and just like put it in. And then go ahead and just fold the bottom. Like that and after you have that go ahead oh, there we go um, make sure you fold it um all the way to the top and then go ahead and just fold this part Maybe I should go in a little bit in. And then go and open it up. And just like put it in. Okay, all done. So it takes a really long time to like kind of like get it there for me, but yeah. After that, go ahead and just fold, um, refold the corners in like that. There we go. And now you have your squishy bunny. After you made your bunny, let's go ahead and make the envelope. So to make the envelope, go ahead and get a um, big sheet of origami paper, which I'm doing right now. And yeah, so I'm going to get this blue sheet of origami paper, which is a little bit bigger than a normal origami paper. So yeah, just get one that makes your bunny fit. So to start, go ahead and fold your piece of origami paper um, in half. 
and there you go and after that go ahead and just fold the top down turn it around and then fold this corner like that and then do it on the other side as well and now go ahead and just like um refold it at least that's what i'm doing and now go ahead and just flip it around and there's like this line in the middle if you guys don't notice like that line so just go ahead and um yeah there's like this line here and just fold it over a little bit like not too much but just like a little bit because you want to make sure your buggy fits and then go ahead and do that on the other side and there you go so after that go ahead and just take this part and then put it into the flat also um you could like tape it up if you want to but i'm not but i actually am just kidding i'm gonna so just like go like that and then tape it if you want if you want okay and go ahead and draw the design on this any type of design you want but yeah and there you go so now after you have it um the final detail is you could just like take your marker and just like draw a line over there so yeah so after that go ahead and get your bunny make sure it fits of course mine does and just go and put it in and now you have the bunny delivery um and that is how you make it anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video and yeah so um go ahead and subscribe like and hit the post notifications bell but yeah anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video as always bye